what we were hoping to do with the hallway was to uh, essentially bring inside the species that would be commonly found on campus. So it connects learning to the outside. It makes when you're inside think, oh, have I seen that, that outside? You know, okay, that's cool on the wall. Can I go find that outside? So as you walk down the hallway, um, the five trees are all trees that we have on campus. Um, the insect species, the bird species, the reptile species that you see are all species that you can find here on campus and are common to the Appalachian ecosystem. I had the idea in my head for a very long time and then the perfect student came along and that was Kristen Bell who uh, majored in environmental studies and minored in uh, studio art. I thought it sounded like a great idea and it would definitely be better than the blank white walls that we've had for so long. I think the biggest challenge has just been trying to get it all mapped out and determine where everything would go in the actual ecosystem and getting it all scientifically accurate, the correct biology of all of the seasonality of the birds and the insects and the flowers. It is the outside that has come in and it's art that is connecting science in the world, which is a really cool thing. Some of the things have turned out better than I'd imagined they would be. One of the really challenging things about the hallway was painting these pillars just because when you're taught to paint, you generally paint a flat surface, surface and you use all sorts of optical illusions to create depth and three-dimensionality. But since it is curved, you expect things to be able to be 3D, but if you view it from a different angle, the optical illusion is going to look completely wrong. So you can't have anything that looks as though it's projecting from a side or viewed from a side angle. All you can have are things that are viewed straight on. So it was really challenging to try and figure out what we could work into the pillars and what we would have to leave out and try and get all of it to end up looking accurate and lifelike, even though it's a very unusual surface to work on. I think it's just a beautiful space and it just makes you feel comfortable and peaceful and connected, which is great. I actually was accepted into a scientific illustration program at California State University in Monterey Bay. I would really love to either work in a museum or a zoo helping with signage and publications, or else doing things like reference books, because I think that would be really fulfilling to take animals that people don't know much about and bring them more into the public eye. 